Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York. And after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Call you later, Nancy. Come on in, Nancy. The door's open. Welcome to New York, Nancy. I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. I'm happy to help in any way I can. Aunt Eloise told me that someone on the set is getting death threats. Well, for the past month, my co-star, Rick Arlen, has been getting these awful death threats. At first, we all shrugged it off. You get the occasional odd letter in this business. But then they started to get weird. Have you ever received an odd letter? Oh, I've gotten some odd ones here and there, but nothing like what Rick has been getting. In fact, they're totally bizarre. Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poison chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. Tell me about the letters. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. Did Rick go to the police? No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously. Especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. Someone sent him poison chocolates? Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and friends are always sending him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so nasty, Rick spit them out. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the studio. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. I'll write the studio's address on your map. Just catch a taxi cab outside and show them the map. They'll know how to get there. It's locked. It's locked. something to make this work.
You've reached Bess Marvin. I can't come to the phone right now, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Fane Residence! Hi George, it's Nancy. Nancy, how are you? Are you still in Florida? Did you ever solve that case you were working on? I'm in New York right now on another case. Get this. Rick Arlen from Light of Our Love is getting these scary death threats. You're kidding! Don't tell Bess that. She'll want to fly out there and save him. She absolutely adores Rick Arlen. So, have you met any of those other daytime superstars? Where is Bess anyway? I'll need her soap opera expertise for this case. If there's one thing Bess knows, it's her soaps. But you're out of luck. She's gone out of town for a couple of days. Is there anything I can help you out with? Not that I can think of right now, but I'll get back to you. See you, George. Guess who? Nancy! First you leave me to visit your aunt in Florida, and now you're in New York. By the time you get back to River Heights, I'll be an old man. That's okay. I'll still love you. Even if I'm bald and wearing dentures? Of course, Ned. Even if you're toothless and hairless. You're so sweet. Strange, but sweet. So, Hannah told me about the investigation you're working on. Sounds neat, but kind of dangerous. Anything I can help you out with? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Yes, Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Have a nice day. I don't care who he is. No one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. It's open! Hey, Nancy! Glad you could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Can you tell me why someone would want to send these threats to Rick? He's talented, handsome, and rich. Some people would hate him just for that. But Rick wouldn't hurt a fly. I have no idea why someone's trying to scare him with these threats. So how long have you been a couple? You mean off-screen or on-screen? You see, Rick and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. I'm sorry. I meant, how long have Serena and Rory been a couple? Ever since I got on board about a year ago. Rick had been on the show already for one or two seasons, and the writers decided to make us a couple. You know, Yuri Danner, Rory's twin brother, was pretty upset with that. 
Do you think it could be him? I'm sorry, Nancy. It's been a running joke around here. You see, Rick's character has an evil twin, Yuri, and everyone's been saying that it's him who's causing all this trouble. But seriously, I have no idea who could be behind this. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get to makeup. Hey, why don't you come down to the set in a few minutes? I'll be shooting a scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home. Can I help you? Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. 
I need something to make this work. Places, everyone. Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Weiss, we're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed! Get my agent on the phone, now! Clear him out, everybody. Looks like that's a wrap for today. Stage crew, you're on standby. It's locked. What kind of studio are you running here? My client could have been killed! I told you I'd get to the bottom of this. I've already closed the set to visitors. It's open! Oh, Nancy, this is horrible! There's no way that could have been an accident! I think it's another attempt to get Rick. The timing's just too weird. All of these threats, and now he's almost killed on stage! I'm too upset to deal with this. I gotta get out of here. I need some space. We'll talk later. Entrez-vous! Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Uh, River Heights? Touché! So, you're an old friend of Maddie's. She told me you were coming up to visit. She said you find me irresistible. Uh, actually, I find those letters you've been getting irresistible. I just love a good mystery. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> well, mi casa es su casa. You know, my house is your house. 
Well, feel free to examine the evidence, Miss Drew, while I go off to wardrobe. Have a chocolate while you're at it. Stay beautiful. Are you a visitor? According to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room, except for those people permitted in the prop room. You may want to talk to the director, Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear. May I help you? Yes, hi. I'm a friend of Maddie's, and I'm- Do I look like a tour guide? Look, the set's closed to visitors. I'll need to take your pass away. But if it's any consolation, I'll be more than happy to show you the door. Hey, 
Lady Taxi. Where to, Lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way. It's locked. It's me. Hi. How's it going? I finally met THE Rick Arlen. That man has an ego the size of Texas. He's worse than Daryl Gray. I'm not sure I like you jet-setting across the country meeting all of these Enrico Suaves. So, are these threats he's been getting serious? Yes, and he's not only getting letters, but tainted chocolates, broken watches. Have you tried to find out where these objects are coming from? That might lead you to your culprit. So, what else can I help you out with? Guess what? I gotta look at the letters Rick has been getting. Some of them have the letters cut out of magazines, and some of them are typewritten. But get this, the Y is dropped on the typewritten letters. Hmm, sounds like two different MOs. But what a clue! Now if you can only find the typewriter that drops its Y. So, what else can I help you out with? I think that's it for now. I miss you. I miss you too. Goodbye. Hi, George. Hey, Nancy. What's new on the case? Rick was almost killed by a falling Klieg light. Oh my gosh! Is he all right? Was it an accident? He's okay, but it barely missed him. Have you searched the area? Maybe the light was sabotaged to fall. I'm certain that it was. I found a light clamp on stage that looks as if it had been sawed through. That pretty much narrows your suspects down to someone in the studio. This had to be an inside job. Talk to you later. Good luck and be careful. Hi, Nancy. I'm sorry for skipping out on you like that. I guess I'm not a very good hostess. It's just that this whole thing with Rick really shook me up. I understand, but now that the studio is close to visitors, I'm at a dead end. There's got to be a way to get you back in the studio. Whoever's leaving these threats for Rick also has access to the studio. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. You know, my agent could get you a job as an extra so you could get on the set. You don't have to do anything. They just need to have people standing by. That sounds great. But what should I say if they ask about you and me? Just tell them you're an aspiring actress who I've taken under my wing. I'll give Dwayne a call first thing tomorrow. Just stop by there in the morning. I'll tell him you're an old family friend who's decided to try out acting as a career. Would you do that? That'd help me get past Lillian and hopefully to the bottom of these threats against Rick. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck! Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you. About a job as an extra? I'm sorry. I'm in Sweet 101. Come in. Come in. I apologize for my abrupt greeting. You must understand that if I opened my door to every struggling actor in this town, I'd never be able to get my work done. I'm a friend of Maddie Jensen. She told me you might be able to get me a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. Ah, yes. Maddie just called me. You're Nancy Drew, am I correct? 
Maddie spoke highly of your abilities and I am more than happy to give a young actor a chance, if I can. Normally I don't do this, but seeing that you're a friend of Maddie's, I could pull some strings for you. You see, Worldwide uses me almost exclusively for hiring their talent. Not only did I provide them with Maddie Jensen, but Rick Arlen as well. How long have you known Maddie? Maddie and I go back over eight years. We met doing summer stock at the Belfry Theater upstate. She went on to play Juliet with a touring company and I started this agency. You and Maddie must be very good friends. Yes, we are. She's a talented actress and extremely generous, as you very well know. However, I am afraid Rick may be having a bad influence on her. You see, Rick foolishly believes acting is a status symbol, not an art form. He's a ladder climber who'll use anyone to crawl his way to the top. A ladder he's sure to fall from one of these days. Well, Nancy, you must be anxious to start this assignment. I'll call right now and have a pass waiting for you at the reception desk. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must get back to work. It was a pleasure meeting you. Please call on me for any other needs you may have. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hi, I've been hired as an extra by the Powers Agency. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Thank you and uh, good luck. It's open! Yes, my dear. I need to get something for Maddie from the prop room. I see. Well, I don't just let anyone enter my prop room without showing me that they're clever enough to take on the responsibility. Listen to my riddle, and when you know the correct answer, I'll let you in. The more you make, the more you leave behind. Nope. Try again. The more you make, the more you leave behind. Oh, that was pretty easy. Let's try another one. What is full of holes but holds water? Very good. Let's see if you can answer one more. What has four fingers and a thumb but is not alive? That's it! I have stumped many people with my riddles, but you are quite the sleuth. You may go and enter the prop room now, while I go and unpowder my nose.
The typewriter drops its Y. young lady. It must be wonderful to work with Rick Arlen. Is he really that exciting in real life as he is on stage? Who? Rick Arlen? I never heard of him. You don't mean Rory Downer, do you, dear? He is a no good, good for nothing, do nothing if you ask me. Oh, he's been a troublemaker ever since he's got here. What that man needs is a good swift kick and a you know what? causing poor Serena all that grief with his scampering around. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Come back soon. It's open. Hi, Nancy. Glad to see Dwayne could get you a job as an extra. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next Serena Livingston. As if. I'm lucky if I can remember my stage left from my stage right. Dwayne was very helpful. I can't believe he got me apart, just like that. Dwayne's a great guy. He gave me a chance when no one in this town would even give me the time of day. Has he been an agent for a long time? Actually, he and I were struggling actors, doing summer stock, community theater. I went on to do Juliet with Rick, and Dwayne came to the city to start his own talent agency. I guess he'd had enough of the acting scene. I don't think Dwayne likes Rick very much. Actually, the feeling's mutual. Dwayne was Rick's agent and helped him get the part of Rory Danner. But later on, Rick ditched him to go with a larger agency. I guess to help him get out of his contract here. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Break a leg! I see Maddie's friend is now working as an extra for us. So, are you trying to get discovered or are you just hard up for a job? I'm working with Dwayne Powers Agency. I heard he's a really good agent. Oh, please. Don't get your hopes up too high. It's not like you're working for commercial artists or Edison talent. We use Dwayne whenever we need someone right away. Usually extras or gophers. If we really need talent, we call someone else. I thought you might be interested to know that I found a light clamp on the set. It looked as if it had been sawed off. That was no accident on the set. It was a deliberate attempt on Rick's life. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a little Miss Sherlock Holmes on the set. Look, we didn't hire you to play junior detective, so don't be sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, okay? Well, I'll let you get back to your business. You do that. I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work.
need taxi. Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way. We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. The studios are abuzz with talk that you may be heading for a career in films. Will Rory Danner be killed off the show? Rory is a character who is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Well, how could anyone in their right mind leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie Jensen? Is it true that your on-stage love affair has led to an off-stage romance? Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Weren't you seen with that actress Greta Von Kamloops at Cannes earlier this year? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in the near future? Oh, no. Not while I'm with the WWB Network. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker, is that true? Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment, and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel 13. Oh, Rick. Hi, George. Hey, Nancy. What's new on the case? I'm officially an extra on the set, but there's not much to do. Not much to do? I bet it'd take you weeks to discover all the nooks and crannies in that studio. Who knows? Maybe you'll stumble upon some hidden passageways. TV studios are always full of them. I found a pair of wire cutters. <laughs> you always find the oddest things lying about. Hold on to it. I'm sure it'll be useful somewhere. Talk to you later. Good luck and be careful. This is Bess. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Nancy, tell me everything. Did you get Rick's autograph for me? He's so gorgeous. It must be so exciting to be on the set with all those stars. George filled me in on everything that's happened, so tell me who the suspects are. I can't believe someone would do this to Rick. You know, it just might be Rick who's behind these threats. <sighs> no way, Nancy. Why would he send death threats to himself? <laughs> Get real. Maybe it's a cover-up, and he's trying to blame someone else. But Rick's not like that. He always seems so caring. On the other hand, his character isn't all that nice. Do you think some psycho fan who's confused reality with fiction could be doing this? No, I'm convinced it's an inside job. Well, that narrows down your list of suspects then. So, who are the other suspects? Let's see, there's this odd woman who's the prop master. That must be Millie Strathorn. Did you know she owns the entire network and it's worth millions? She's a total cat lover. I heard she treats her cats like royalty. So, who are the other suspects? Maddie is really nice, but I can't rule her out. Oh my gosh, wouldn't it be weird if Maddie was behind it all? What if Maddie really had a secret motive to get rid of Rick? Like Marlena on Crimson Cove last year. I don't think so, Bess. Real life isn't a soap opera, you know. So, who are the other suspects? The producer doesn't exactly like Rick, but I've yet to meet him in person. Who's the producer now? Is it William Pappas? Worldwide just hired him like six months ago to improve their ratings. Crimson Cove is really beating Light of Our Love. 
There's the director, Lillian Weiss, who's not a very happy camper. Oh yeah, Chatter Magazine had a whole spread on their breakup at some elegant restaurant. She dumped a whole pitcher of water on Rick's head. How long were they a couple? Not that long. I think Rick started going out with that Hollywood actress, Kendra Wells, soon after the breakup. Okay, I'll be off in a minute. Nancy, I gotta go soon. So who else have you met? My agent, Dwayne Powers, is pretty cool, but let's just say he's not one of Rick's number one fans. Never heard of him. It's so funny to hear you say my agent. So how did you hook up with him? He's Maddie's agent and her good friend. He pulled some strings so I could work as an extra to continue with my investigation. Wow, how exciting! So are there any other openings? I'll work for free. Okay, Mom, I'll be right down. Nancy, I gotta go. Give me a call later if you need some help, okay? Bye. Hello? Guess what? Maddie helped me land a job as an extra through her agent, Dwayne. I guess he places a lot of actors. My girlfriend, the soap opera star. Now you'll never come back home. Hmm. I bet if you contact some of Dwayne's other employees, they might have some information related to the case. So, what else can I help you out with? There's a locked area of the prop room. I wonder what the prop master is hiding there. If it's locked, it must be important. She may want you to answer some kind of puzzle to get in. But maybe there's another way to get past the gate. You'll find a way. So, what else can I help you out with? Ah, uh, this case is getting stranger by the minute. Now I found out that the prop master has a typewriter. And you know what? The Y's on her machine are dropped. That is strange. But remember, this is just circumstantial evidence. It might not be the prop master who's typing these letters. So, what else can I help you out with? I think that's it for now. I miss you. I miss you too. Goodbye. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. Hello? Pretty scary for a minute there. And then what happened? Once I defused the bomb and got out of there, I called the police and I was stuck at the station for hours. They searched the dressing room and sent the bomb off to the crime lab, but they didn't find anything. Oh, and remind me to thank Chief McGinnis when I get back home. He vouched for me when I asked for a copy of the tape. It sounds like things have gotten way out of control. Oh, Ned, I've got another call. It's probably the police. I love you, and I promise I'll be careful. Call you later, okay? Okay. Hello, Ms. Drew. This is Bill Pappas, the producer for Light of Our Love. I just wanted to thank you for your quick thinking and valiant efforts today. I understand that you've been detained at the police department. Thank you, Mr. Pappas, but it was nothing, really. Well, I believe you're very brave for what you've done. I can't help but wonder, though, what you were doing in Rick's room. I'm investigating the threats against him and wanted to know why his door wasn't locked. You're investigating the threats? What are you, some kind of reporter? No, not at all. Maddie Jensen asked me to look into these threats against Rick, 
since no one was taking them seriously. What? Hey, ever since Rick started getting threats, we've taken every measure to ensure his safety. We've even hired more security after that accident in the studio. Can you answer some questions I have? Uh, no. I'm very busy at the moment. But seeing what you did today, I guess I owe you one. What do you need to know? Can you think of anyone on the staff who has skills in explosives or electronics? We definitely do not use explosives on our set. We use outside pyrotechnicians for location shoots. And of course, all of our technical crew are very knowledgeable about electronics. But I couldn't picture any of them making a bomb. Is there anyone on the technical staff that would hold a grudge against Rick? Look, I'm not the studio psychologist. Rick's not the easiest guy to work with, neither am I. But then, I don't have people leaving me threatening letters in my office. Do you believe someone from outside the studio could have done this? That's impossible. This set has been closed down tight since that accident. I even hired extra security. My own mother couldn't have gotten in here. Is there video surveillance of the dressing room? Uh, we're currently working with the police on that. But there are no security cameras in the dressing rooms. Who, besides Rick, would have keys to his dressing room? Only Rick and the security personnel. We've already checked into this. Rick is very touchy about his room and won't even let the janitors clean it unless he's there. That's odd. Has he always been this way? Yes, Rick's very controlling like that. It took us weeks to renegotiate his contract. He had all of these detailed demands, like about lighting, script direction, the placement of his name in the credits. He's unbearable at times. Listen, I need to get back to work. Do you need anything else? Are there many people who have access to the studio at night? Only our key talent and some of the floor managers have access. And of course, myself and Lillian. But we've often got projects going on around the clock. Post-production work and set design to name a few. Can I have a list of everyone who's been in the studio at night? That's confidential. Do you have surveillance video of the hallways, perhaps? We're looking into that. Listen, we run a studio down here, not a prison. Sometimes staffers borrow the security videos when they run out. We've addressed this problem before and I can guarantee it won't happen again. Hold on a second. No, tell him I'll call him. Don't put him on hold, I'll call him. What else do you need, Nancy? Hello? Who takes care of the teleprompter? Well, in theory, it's the lead scriptwriter's job to manage that part of production. But a lot of actors, especially Maddie, like to edit their script to add emphasis or direction. Is Ms. Strathorn the lead script writer? No, not at all. She's always submitting scripts and story ideas to our writers, but they never go anywhere. Does the studio have any audio mixing equipment? Of course we do. We have a whole department set up for audio recording. And we also have some mixers in the control room. Do you think I can see them sometime? We're very busy with production right now and we're no longer conducting tours. If you, oh, hold on. No. Get someone else for that. We need to have someone on standby if he decides to leave. Sorry about that, Nancy. Any other questions? Who else has access to the staff offices? The usual people. Janitors, some assistants, Millie, security. Now, is there anything else you need to ask of me? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Well, thank you for your help in this matter, Mr. Pavis. Goodbye. Yes, well, thanks again for your brave efforts today. Goodbye. George Fain. After the tone, please leave your name, phone number, and a brief message. Thanks. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. something to make this work I need something to make this work I need something to make this work
It's locked. to make this work. Stay tuned for Light of Our Love. This has been a presentation of Worldwide Broadcasting. something to make this work.
Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. It's locked. We don't want any. It's about time you showed up. I've been waiting 45 minutes for that pizza. <laughs> need something to make this work.
I need to find the key for this. Taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hello. Any new developments on the case? I found the sound mixer, but I'm not sure what I'm looking for. 
Nancy, I'm sure a master detective like you could figure this one out. I found an employee badge for an Owen Spader in the Lost and Found. See if you can track this guy down. He may have some important information. Dwayne's agency is not doing so well. I found all of these outstanding bills. I also found several checks that Maddie wrote to Dwayne. <laughs> well, that pretty much clears Dwayne, right? I mean, if Rick leaves Light of Our Love, that could seriously jeopardize the show. If the show is canceled, then Dwayne would lose his contracts there. I found out that Owen Spader worked at the same theater where Dwayne and Maddie met. You know, employment records can easily be falsified. Find out more information on him. I'm sure Maddie would have known him. Have you asked Lillian about him? Oh, Bess, this is awful. I just got a phony bomb threat in the mail. The villain must know you're hot on the trail. But how? Oh, Nancy, don't give up now. You've got to solve this mystery before it's too late. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Give me a call if you need some help, okay? This is George Fane. After the tone, please leave your name, phone number, and a brief message. Thanks. Hello? Hi, it's me. Hi. How's it going? What do you think I should look for on that death threat tape? Probably something the police couldn't hear. Maybe there's a way you could change the speed of that voice or something. You might recognize it then. I got into the locked area of the prop room and found an employee ID for one of Dwayne's contract workers, Owen Spader. Do you have any other information on this guy? Maybe there's an employee file for him at the studio. I should get back to the set. Goodbye! Hurry home and be careful. I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. something to make this work. I need something to make this work. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Uh. 
Entrevue. My hero, Nancy Drew. You know, according to ancient tradition, if someone saves your life, you should serve them for the rest of your life. So, what can I do for you, young lady? Your wish is my command. Yeah, right. Well, you can tell me if you've noticed any suspicious characters around your dressing room lately. Yes, I have. They're named Agent Harris, Officer Josewitz, and Detective Bonnet. It appears I've been quite a celebrity with the local authorities. Hey, I hear Detective Beach is looking for a new star. Do you think I should do some research with my new friends to land the part? Tell me, Rick. Do you know a guy by the name of Owen Spader? Yeah, yeah, I know Owen. He was with the uh, Beekman Theater, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of short and stocky. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're seeing him. <laughs> don't break my heart, love. What is the story with the prop master? Old Millie Strathorn! Heir to the worldwide broadcasting fortune. She's great, except for the fact that she's never liked me. She thinks I'm too big for my britches, and that I wouldn't know a good thing if it came up to me and stuck its finger in my nose. Can I ask your advice? Dwayne Powers is my agent. He's pretty good, isn't he? Dwayne's a loser, babe. Don't tell me he's representing you. Didn't he represent you? Yes, he did. A very long time ago. I was young and naive, just like you, love. I made a mistake. Something you can't afford to do at this point in your career. So tell me, Rick, who haven't you dated on Light of Our Love? Oh, you've got quite a reputation on this set. <laughs> Whatever anyone's saying, I can guarantee that it's all wrong. I swear. I'm just misunderstood, that's all. So you've never dated Maddie? Oh, come on. Everyone knows about Maddie and me. The perfect match made in soap opera land. It was too weird, dating her and playing the role on stage. I just had to figure out what was real and what was just an act, you know? I sometimes think, if I can only get out of being Rory Danner, maybe she can get out of being Serena Livingston. What about Lillian? Lillian's a nobody. She was always after me, and things were breaking up between Maddie and me. It was just a rebound romance. I know, I've got this bad reputation as being some kind of Casanova, but... Everyone's got a second chance, you know? I just wish sometimes I could go back in time, just wake up and find it was just a dream and start all over. I wouldn't be known as Rick the Slick then. Oh, listen, I gotta go, Rick. Be careful, okay? Stay beautiful. It's open! Oh, Nancy, I'm so glad that you're okay. Everyone's been talking about that bomb scare. Rick's still shrugging it off, but... I can tell he's upset about it. Did Lillian and Rick date after you both broke up? Yeah, Rick had been after Lillian for a while, pretty much to meet her film friends from out west. I warned her about Rick, but she didn't listen. Now she bears a grudge against me. Rick's pretty good at loving and leaving them. What a loser. Rick's not like that. At least he wasn't with me. Everyone has this idea that he dumped me, but it wasn't at all like that. He had a lot of trouble dealing with the pressures of his career and a relationship at the same time. We saw it happening and agreed to split up. Rick's a wonderful guy. I have no regrets. Tell me, do you know someone by the name of Owen Spader? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Wait, no. No, I'm pretty good at names, but I've never heard of him. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Break a leg! Well, well. I see our local hero has shown up for work. Not only can she waste everyone's time with prying questions, but she can find the time to save Rick from being blown to smithereens. I thought you might be interested to know that I found a light clamp on the set. It looked as if it had been sawed off. That was no accident on the set. It was a deliberate attempt on Rick's life. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a little Miss Sherlock Holmes on the set. Look, we didn't hire you to play junior detective, so don't be sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, okay? Well, can you tell me something about Owen Spader? No, I can't tell you something about Owen Spader. Why should I? 
It's none of your business. Can I ask your advice on something? Rick's really been flirty with me. Should I take him seriously? <laughs> I think Rick's completely out of your league, but he'll flirt with any skirt. You dated him, right? It must have been exciting to date a star. If you think Rick Arlen is anything like Rory Danner, you're in for a very unpleasant surprise. The guy is slime! He'll walk all over you like he walked over Maddie and me. Listen, if he bothers you anymore, let me know and I'll have a word with him. How did he walk over Maddie? Oh, come on. Everyone knows how Rick dumped Maddie. Rick gave her some bogus story about needing his space to concentrate on his career. Yeah, he had to concentrate on ditching Maddie to date me. You know, I don't think Maddie ever got over it, to tell you the truth. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. Gee, thanks. Goodbye. It's open! Why, hello! I hear you've become quite the celebrity, saving Rory Dunner from those diabolical traps set by that cold-blooded scoundrel, Yuri. Thank goodness you had my wire cutters, else you would have been blown all the way to Bakersfield. <laughs> Thanks. It was nothing, really. Okay. It must be wonderful to work with Rick Arlen. Is he really that exciting in real life as he is on stage? Who? Rick Arlen? I've never heard of him. You don't mean Rory Danner, do you, dear? He is a no-good, good-for-nothing, do-nothing, if you ask me. Oh, he's been a troublemaker ever since he's got here. What that man needs is a good swift kick in the you-know-what, causing poor Serena all that grief with his scampering around. Do you know where I can find Owen Spader? He's a stagehand, I believe. Good luck finding him. I've yet to meet him face to face, even though he signs out props all of the time. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Have a good day. Taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Looks like Owen was on the set every time something happened to Rick.
Lady, taxi! Where to, Lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! Hello? I don't have much time to explain. Can you meet me at the studio later tonight? I know you won't have any trouble getting in. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. I see our Miss Snoop has shown up. Lillian, I think you should leave your act to professionals. I can see right through you. Yeah, well, I hope you can see through the act of whoever's sending these letters because I just got one. Right. How am I supposed to believe that? You think you're so smart. Well, here it is. Proof positive. Now do you believe me? Who could be doing this? You must know. It has to be Dwayne. Dwayne Powers? But why on earth would he? With his intense hate of Rick, doomed financial situation, and that clever disguise as Owen Spader, Dwayne had every motive and opportunity to commit these threats and traps. That is correct, Ms. Drew. And now for the bonus round. Name the washed-up director and interfering actress who will be dead in a matter of minutes. Hurry up, contestants. Time's running out. It's him! Up in the control room! And he's locked us in! Lillian, hide! Why, hello, Ms. Drew. I only followed Lillian here, but I've trapped both of you. Your deaths will make a wonderful end to Act One. Rick Arlen's death will be the climax to this little soap opera I've produced. I'm calling it One Death to Die. Dwayne, why? Why do you hate Rick so much? Maddie and Lillian have more reason to hate him than you do. More reason than I? Rick Arlen has to die and I'll tell you why. Because he killed me. He killed Dwayne Powers! How did you pull this off? I disguised myself as Owen Spader to gain access to the studio. I had everyone fooled, but then you came along and found out too much. Dwayne, don't do anything you'll regret. There's still time to let us go. No! I made them stars. I did it all. And how did Rick repay me? By leaving me and destroying my business. Once he left, I lost all of my clients except for Maddie. How did you pull this off? Enough! Words, words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come down for the final close-up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever. So sorry about your short-lived career, Miss Drew. Faces, everyone! <laughs> Open up in there! Open up! Open up! Face Hurry, Nancy! Time's up! It's curtains for you, Ms. Drew. What's going on in here? Hey, you! This is the guy we've been looking for. Congratulations, Nancy. You've solved the case. Way to go, Ralph. Forget about it. Dwayne's in the right hands now. Case closed. Dear Bess, another mystery solved. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California and is directing her first film. But the best news is about Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. Well, as Serena and Rory. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on them. There's always hope. Love, Nancy.